Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to part two of the audio react template inside of After Effects. Um, if you're just coming to this video first, you want to go back to do part one to get to this kind of template where the uh, track name and the artwork goes. Um, the only thing I've done outside of the tutorial is I labeled this clock instead of just having it an empty text layer because it is the clock. So first thing we're going to do is new composition. We're going to call it main comp and we're gonna make it the same size and same duration which is cool so now that we have that I'm gonna bring in my background layer centered um, do something like this to make it nice and cool um, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in the song comp I'm dragging on top and it should be right in the middle that's fun I also don't like how it's uh, the tree is here on the background there. So let's see about how we can fix that. That's a little better. Fit it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it's pretty dark and dreary in that the track is kind of dark, so I think it fits well. Um, the first thing we can do is I'm going to put a new light on here. So new light, spotlight, color white is good. That's fine. Okay, and I'm going to turn the 3D in the background. That's what that little sign was. And now that I'm on the light, I'm going to pull back a little bit. So kind of gives me that marquee type feel to it. Spotlight's right behind uh, this the song composition. And what I'm going to do is come in transform nope light options yes intensity I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch give me this I'm gonna type wiggle parentheses I'm gonna do 1 comma 30 and parentheses and then come out and what this is gonna do is over the course of this now it's just gonna flicker the background a little bit just to give it a little more motion see it flickering there so that's fun um, and the next thing I'm going to do is create new solid. Boom. Doesn't matter the color of that. And I'm going to come over to the effects and find audio spectrum. And I'm going to apply it to that. And I'm going to drag it down, holding down shift so it stays in the center. And the frequency bands, I'm going to turn to, I don't know, 150 for now. I'm also going to turn the display to analog lines and I'm also going to take the audio layer from the song layer which has the audio in it and I'm going to come down to the end where there's a lot going on. So you can see that it is lines are coming up which is presumably with the song um, from this uh, song composition. So frequency bands, it's cool. Uh, so start frequency, and this is the audio spectrum here. And um, I don't have a lot going on on uh, 2000. As you can see, if we scroll through, there's not a lot of audio going on. So it kind of makes it boring, um, at least for my track anyway. And I've got some glitch hop in here with some bass that does a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to bring in the end frequency. And I'm going to type in 500. So now, if we scroll through, we can see we've got a lot more kind of animation going on, which is cool. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the start point, and I'm going to bring it in, and I want to line it up with the end here. So that's pretty cool. And then the end point, I'm going to bring that in to line up with the other end there. So you can see that we have that going on. And the next thing I'm going to do is pull this up. Oops. So it kind of, the middle here is lined up to the bottom of this. And uh, so this looks pretty good over here. That looks pretty sweet. But over here it needs to come out a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. 
And the next thing I want to do is I want to take it and drop it behind the song. So I'm only going to get to see that one side of it. So as you can see, it's bouncing along there. And I'm actually going to uh, pull this over just a little bit. There we go. So there you go. And that's pretty cool, right? Uh, obviously those colors aren't fitting, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to make this color a dark greenish. And I'm going to make this color... Uh, and it actually really doesn't matter because we're going to use a ramp, but just in case. That's, that's pretty cool. And like I said, uh, this is pretty cool right now, as is. But what I want to do is come in and generate a ramp, just to give it a little more uh, a little more control over the color. So generate ramp, and I'm going to pull down the black and pull in the white. So that's pretty. So there we go. Now we have this kind of cool ramp effect going on. Let me drag it out a little bit more. And again, this pro the song is dark, so I'm making the project dark. So if you have a bright, uh, uplifting trance song or something, then you might want to make different colors. But that's that. And um, maybe bring in this a little bit. Maybe change the color to, to a nice greener color, something like that. That way it fits a little better with the, uh, the project. That looks OK. I don't want to spend too much time on it. You want to spend more time on it on your project, obviously, but I want to keep the uh, tutorial moving along. So, okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to come in and I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, and now that, that I've selected that, I'm going to pull up on it, hold down Shift so it doesn't move to the left or the right, and get it pretty close like that. And we want these, now that they're on the same point of audio, we kind of want them to look the same. So I guess that's pretty close. And then I want to come down to the ramp and I want to flip these around. So I want to make this the light color. I don't know why that's a little darker. And make this the darker color. And then take these and those look pretty similar now. I'm just moving around the ramp points and stuff like that. But that looks pretty much the same. And I'm going to turn down the uh, resolution just so we can get some better. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool. Um, the next thing you could do is you could flip this over. Um, transform flip horizontally and that way it will give you a you know cooler looking image that's floating around a little bit more I think that's pretty sweet so there you go that's pretty much it um, if you wanted to do a little color correction new layer color correction so we want to go Adjustment layer, effects, color, brightness. And we could turn it up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, another thing too is if you look up here, this is kind of uh, the top one, start point. Actually, it's the end point here. It's coming over the edge. So what I've done is just moved it over so it's not 
But that is pretty sweet there. And that's pretty much the gist of it. If you wanted these audio spikes to go higher, you could just come in and you could go to maximum height and bring that up. But I kind of like the way that looks right there. And go ahead and save that if you wanted to rename this Audio React. Oops. Audio React Top. And rename this Audio React Bottom. And maybe rename this Background. But I mean, that's pretty much it. And if you go ahead and save that, now all you have to do is come in and switch out your background, maybe switch the audio adjust, the wiggle on the light if you want wiggle. And um, the main part of your um, changing this file would be inside the song. Obviously, you change the track name and you change the, uh, the art artwork. And just remember to change the ramp of this background thing, change the color to fit the artwork and the file and everything. But anyway, that's uh, that's how you do it. That's uh, pretty much done. There you go. You'd get that done and export it and put it up on YouTube and you've got a much more interesting um, kind of video to watch than just having the album artwork sit there and maybe slowly change size or something. But uh, if you have any questions or anything, hit me up. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw this template up online along with the uh, clock code, the clock expression you're going to have to input, and also the parameters for the uh, audio spectrum. But anyway, I hope that helps some of you guys, and we'll see you soon.